Let's see, Lance. Uh, yeah. yeah. Hey, Jerry. Lance. Uh, we want to get you on the phone out here today and uh, and talk about this situation uh, with Gilbert, the son of a gun. You know, when I say it's getting serious, I, I can't believe the stuff that they're pulling now. Yeah, well, you know, I'll tell you, Lance, uh, there's got to be a stop put to this one way or the other. You know, we're going to we're going to get things uh, we're going to get things working here shortly. You know, I've, I've, I've come back, I guess I, I guess the first week maybe I came back a little bit too early, but now I feel real good. I'm ready to uh, get things going here and uh, I got some surprises in store for Eddie Gilbert, I can assure you that. Yeah, well, I know, yeah. Okay, hey, listen, come on. Now, listen, as this is three weeks now, Lawler. If you're not mad enough to come down here and face me man-to-man, -man, why don't you quit calling, quit having Lance Russell, Russell call you. I'm sick and tired of this. I'm the new king here. You only talk on this program when I want you to talk. Well, you're a gutless one or something, right? Well, uh, Gilbert, you can run your mouth all you want to, brother, but... You're exactly right about that. If I want to, if I don't, so bye-bye, King! Okay, I'll tell you, you're talking about sick and what? tired. I am getting sick and tired of you coming out here every week. I'm in the middle of a phone conversation. You come out here and grab the phone and slam the thing up, and I... And, and I in case your dad didn't tell you anything, you're rude. You come out here and grab the phone out of somebody's oh, hand. Oh, now I'm rude! Yeah, you you're at least that rude. much. Well, I'm rude to you. Yeah. You're rude, to, you're, you're rude to everybody you. here that's here. It's our guest of this television oh, program. Right. Well, you come out and, so, and intervene. So you're mad. It. You're mad because I come out and hung up on your precious king. Yeah, well, you think I'm going to like it for you coming out here every single week and try to interrupt our we program do, and do it. We hey, can do yeah. whatever well, we want You may to just do. find out, Miss oh, Missy, yeah, that you can't yeah, do yeah, everything okay, that you okay, want to. And you better... You know, I'm glad I'm glad you're sick and tired, Lance, because you know this past week when I was talking to my brother Doug and my dad Tommy and Missy this week, and, and you know, and I was thinking about all the legends since I've been on as a legend slayer now, right? All the legends that I've put out the pasture. The first one, of course, was your King Jerry Lawler. He's he, he's gone. He won't even show up on TV anymore. Then was your stupid star Bill Dundee. I sent him on his way, and then came the. The big millionaire Jerry Jarrett, who's got log income and everything, he wouldn't even show up here to see his boys. I put him back out again. And then I started thinking, who's the person that's left? And then it hit me. I said, the greatest legend in the Mid-South area. I've overlooked how can I do this? The ancient mariner himself. Lance Russell. All right. And Don't that, get into that. Today, I just have to have a little surprise for oh, you. Oh, oh, oh. All right. Now, listen, Eddie. What? I got a little what? surprise for you, maybe. What? 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 Yeah, I, I got a little surprise. You know Jerry Lawler? I was just talking to him before you interrupted on that. You know where I was calling to him for? Sure, his house. <laughs> think again. You got another thing coming. I was talking to him right out of Jerry Lawler is right here, right there. You got something to say to me, you go say it to him. Look out, baby. Well, I'll tell you one thing. I don't approve of these fights in the studio and all of that. But this is one of them that I can't cry about. If anybody ever had it coming, that Gilbert had it coming. He's done everything. He didn't mention the fact he burned Randy Hales along with everybody else that he's burned. So we just thought he would let him think that Jerry Lawler was not around and out of the home. Lawler pounded on him. Whoa, there they go. Watch the folks. Back in the corner by the door back there. That's a big sandbag. Well, Lawler into the slammed into the door. He returns it to Gilbert. Look out. Well, they're out in an area that, that has no lighting out there. We follow them as long as you can. Davey? Yeah. They're, they're battling outside there. I tell you what we got to do. 
Let's us just take a break right here. And, and, uh-oh, Lawler's oh, going out after line. him. Let's take a break, and we'll come back and catch it, see if we can get the camera set, okay? Let's take a break. <laughs> We got the camera out there at the parking lot. Jerry Lawler and Eddie Gilbert started fighting right in here. Fought all the way out the building. They're out and that is a parking lot on the side of the TV station. And Lawler and Gilbert are just going straight at it. Lawler slams Gilbert's head down on the hood of a car. A street ball, Lawler picks Gilbert up, and Gilbert swings back, tagging away, and Lawler picks Jerry up, slams him right down into the windshield. Lawler, good night, he busted him right down into that windshield. Lawler picking himself out of that windshield. Jumps Gilbert from behind. That's the parking lot you're looking at. Jerry Lawler and Eddie Gilbert. That's Lawler right there. I don't know where Gilbert took off, I guess. As Eddie has disappeared, Lawler going back looking for him. not Eddie right there. Good night. He slammed Lawler right into that windshield on that car. Whew. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. What a ball. He picked Lawler up and slammed it. Look at that windshield wow. on that car. Whew. And Lawler came out of it, was fighting back, and apparently Gilbert took off. He ran yeah. out of the camera range. I don't know where he went. And uh, he got out of there. Oh, here comes the king. I want to tell you something, Eddie Gilbert. I can stand a lot more than that, Lance. I can stand anything, Gilbert, that you can dish out. Yeah. Believe me, brother. You can't touch me on your best day. I promise you, Eddie Gilbert, no matter what you try from now on, you're not going to be able to put the king down. You slam me through a car windshield, you slam me through a concrete floor, and I'm going to keep coming right back, and I'm going to get right in your face until I do this, Eddie Gilbert. And I'll tell you what I'm going to let you do, brother. This week, I'm going to let you live up to your name. You call yourself hot stuff? Well, you're going to get real hot this week, Gilbert. Now let me just say one more thing. I want to make this short. I want to make it sweet. You know what I got in store for you, Eddie Gilbert. But you got that sleaze bag running around the ring with you that you call Missy Hyatt. Well, Missy Hyatt, when you get in a wrestling ring, when you get yourself near me, you're putting yourself in a man's place. And let me show you right here what happened to the last little valet. Take a look at the screen. This is what happened to the last ballet that tried to interfere in my matches. Now I want to tell you something, Missy Hyatt. I hope you get close enough to me for me to get my hands on you, because I promise you, I'll do the same thing to you. Eddie Gilbert! Hot stuff, Eddie Gilbert! You're going to be real hot, brother! The King, that, uh, that piece of clip that we were looking at right there was uh, Rick Rude and Angel. Angel. And Angel messed around, and she saw what Lawler did to her. We're going to take time out. Be back in the morning.